Good Monday morning, everyone. Uh, first things first, this morning, shout out to my boy Magnum. Uh, a lot of people have given Magnum shit this past week because he hasn't made his Crow video for the SEC championship game, but I would like to just inform you guys that Magnum just got out of the hospital Friday. Uh, that's It's his business if he wants to tell you his personal shit. But just know that, as is often the case here in the TTC, real life will always take precedent over TTC life. So Magnum, hope you get well soon, my brother. And your bulldogs still suck. Nasty December day. But it's going to be a good day. I'm going to see to it. Just had some breakfast with my buddy Ridge97. I know I've shouted him out before, but shout out to Ridge97. My buddy Steve here in town. And you talk about good people. That's a good dude right there. Go hit him up. Yeah, it's... Uh, we were just talking about... The drug epidemic sweeping, continuously sweeping America right now and how scary it is that half, half of the medical profession right now is hooked on painkillers. And I'll tell you why it's scary to me. When I had those last stents put in last year, February, January, whenever it was. I was literally sitting in that operating room looking around at all the people thinking to myself, damn, half of these people in here could be hooked on pills. And I kind of laughed and said, well, I hope they've had their fix today. Because if you've ever been hooked on pills, one of the really shitty things about them is the jonesing and the wanting to have them. And when you don't have them, it's all you think about. That's all you think about until you get them. Your, your entire thought all day is how am I going to get that next fix? How am I going to get my pills so I feel normal? And until you get them, you're going to keep feeling like that. You're going to keep thinking like that. And then once you get them, if you were like me and most other, other addicts, what you start thinking about then is, okay, cool, I'm good now, I feel good. Where am I going to get the next round for later today or in the morning? It sucks, man. My God, it sucks. I'm not going to make this video about pills, but I just think it's good every now and then to remind yourself, if you're not an addict, remind yourself that you're not and thank and thank your almighty God if that's who you pray to or thank whoever you pray to that you're not hooked because it's awful man bad things so it's going to be a piss poor rainy day today and then the cold front's moving in which is a good thing it is December it's supposed to be cold it's Christmas time it's supposed to be Christmassy and as much as I love 70 degree weather in December, or any month for that matter, if you're going to get into Christmas spirit, it kind of helps that you got Christmas weather. So what's on your Christmas wish the list this year? You'll find that as you get older, your Christmas wish list changes. It changes every year. My biggest wish this year is for a year of good health. You know, I haven't completely given up on trying to get my health back in order. And I really read I really need to figure out how to get dedicated to it, but I'm not going to get on here and say that I'm going to because I've failed too many times and I'm tired of getting on here and talking about it and then failing, so you know, we'll just deal with it the best way we know how and see what happens. 
I can always depend on my buddy Alligator to give me a little shit and remind me what a fat ass I am. So that keeps me in check some. Days like today, dreary, rainy, makes you just want to lay in the daggum bed. And understand that we're not there. We're going to get there, but we're not there yet. And they they understand, and Butch understands, that he's got to be a part of this, that solution, and he wants to be a part of that solution. Because at the end of the day, it's success on the field.